So congratulations, surrounded by your friends, surrounded by your family, still undisputed champion of the world. How would you sum up your emotions tonight? No, I feel, I feel great, I feel happy. I did my best out there and, and, and I'm, I'm happy. You're a very determined man in the ring, but what is it about your role as a father that motivates you to be the best version of yourself every single day? L look, I try my best in everything. I try my best like, as a father too. And, and and I think uh, you need to be example for for them, and I think I'm I'm a really good example for for them. You certainly are. You said in the ring that you grew from defeat. In what ways has that Dimitri Bivol fight changed your outlook on life in general? Look, I I I, I know what things I need to uh, I don't need to do right. I have my I need to surgery in my hand so. I have that issues uh, for that fight, so um, you learn from everything. Loss, win from everything, and I, I learn a lot. You, so, want, sorry. you wanted to end this epic trilogy with Gennady Glovkin inside the distance tonight. Talk to me about the fight and, and how it compared to how you imagined it would this evening. No, he's a great fighter. He's a great fighter, top fighter. He's a strong, he's a smart, and I know he's going to be a, a good fight too. Three good fights for the people, and I'm glad to share the ring with him. The fight looked to be fought l largely at a comfortable pace for you. In the four-year gap between your two fights, what differences did you notice in Gennady Glovkin? Can, I, can you repeat the question, please? The, f the fight looked to be largely fought at a comfortable pace for you, although Golovkin did finish strongly. You looked comfortable mm -hmm. in the ring. What differences did you notice in him this evening? No, I, f I feel good. I feel uh, fast. I feel strong, and I think I did really good. Good job in the, especially in eight, nine rounds, and then he 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 come in strong in the later rounds. But uh, uh, I'm there too, so uh, I'm happy with my what I did in the ring. After all is said and done, all the bad blood, you embraced in the ring. How much do you respect Nadi Glovkin? I respect him a lot. He's a great fighter. I'm, I say to him, thank you for sharing the ring with me. I'm glad to to we we both give the fans a really great, three really great fights. So I'm, I'm glad to share the ring with him. And he is, of course, still a world champion at 160 yeah, yeah. pounds. What do you believe he will do next, Sal? No, he's a top fighter. He can, he can beat everybody out there. A few tequilas for you tonight to celebrate? Yeah, maybe. Why not? So maybe massive. Sure. Definitely. And just finally, how is the hand? No, it's, it's good. I need that surgery, but soon. And next year, I know you want revenge, Dimitri Bivol. How confident are you going to make the adjustments to win that rematch? No, I, I, I can't win that, that fight. No, no problem. But uh, he, he need to take care of business with, with Ramirez. I, I want Ramirez win. I wish Ramirez win, but we'll see. Just finally, Sal, your final message to your supporters and your country of Mexico as well. No, I just want to thank everybody to support me, to come to support me like always. And I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, happy the way they support me. Canelo Alvarez, thanks for a great fight. Congratulations. Thank you.